Hello everybody, welcome to the Board Game Brothers channel and today we will be unboxing another Victory at Sea ship. And this time it's the USS Missouri of the US Navy. Let's get to it. It comes in a nice plastic wrap as usual. And let's take a look at the back here. It's, ooh, it's got some interesting text here. The box is a little damaged. Yeah, yeah it's a bit damaged, but it should be fine. Uh, only the mighty Amato displays more than the massive, yet very fast, uh, Iowa-class battleship. The last battleship to be commissioned by the USA, the USS, USS Missouri, known as the Mighty Mo, act as a venue for the Japanese surrender of World War II. The Iowa class ships saw service far beyond the Second World War and were upgraded with modern electronics, weapon systems, and cruise missile missiles. Does that mean you're gonna have that in the Victory at Sea? If so, I'm gonna be worried. I don't know. Now, the Missouri was. Finally decommissioned in 1992 after a distinguished career. That's actually not too long ago. I think. Well, actually, quite. Thirty long. years ago. That's not well, too long ago. Well, I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty recent for like a for like a ship like this. So, right. Uh, let's open this up. Okay. Bubble wrap here. Uh, this is part of the ship, and then. Huh. Sliders. Yep, the sliders and upgrade card. And, well, the chip card over here, which we'll get to later. And looks like it. This one is. It's packed by um, Melissa. Thank so, you. Thank you for packing this so wonderfully for us. Oh wow, this is pretty big. Oh, I guess you don't need to install any secondary guns then. Yeah, well, the Missouri, I don't think, has that many guns compared to the Yamato. It's pretty big. Look at all those secondary guns, though. And anti-aircraft guns. Yep. Okay. And we, yes. and we also have the metal pieces that we have to assemble. Oh, that is more damaged than I well, thought it would be. It's bent. That's what it is. Bent, it's uh, something we can fix. Like the Yamato. Yeah. And we probably might compare the Yamato and this because the, the size. Yeah. We're still in progress in painting the Yamato right now, so uh, it might not look good yet. Yeah. But we're... eventually it would. Yeah. Then we're going to do some combat with these two ships. Yeah, which is going to be in an upcoming video. So all these are metal, softer metal, I think. Yeah. Okay. And then... Oh, this is also packed by the uh, same person. Okay, there you go. Yep, several hours later, we finally figured out how to open this thing. Instead of using a scissor. Yep, it comes with eight of each type of damage sliders. And then here Wow, that's pretty straightforward. Assembly guide, just um, like five pieces. That's pretty good. And your paint guide. Yep, painting... Hmm, it's not bad. It's pretty straightforward. It's good. And then this is uh, info about the Warlord Games resin. Uh, and here is the ship the ship card. So it's Iowa, Iowa class battleship, the biggest battleship in the U.S. Navy. And the weapons, well, well not too much weapon system, but pretty good. Uh, it has uh, three turrets with a point blank range of 10 inches short range of uh 21 inches long range will be for uh, 31 inches and extreme range 42 inches you have torpedo bell armor deck and advanced radar three aircraft and torpedo boats yeah and then it's a uh, battleship class and flank speed of six not bad it's about as fast as the as the northamptons i think yeah, that's pretty fast for for a battleship. And a flank speed of uh, and a armor of six. Oh. Hull points of one hundred fifteen, and uh, when it gets to thirty eight points, it'll be crippled. So if I shoot you with the Yamato, then I just need to hit a four when I'm dealing the damage. Well, I think 
So this mine is plus two for AP. Oh, you too. You also have plus two. Yeah, I have, I have, I have plus two for AP and then uh, three damage dice. For and each. it's heavy. That and the traits where the weapons are heavy. That means it's going to be hit a five or six for a critical, I believe. And then light guns, we have four inches, and then for short, uh, point blank, and nine inches for short. Uh, long range will be for 13 inches, and 18 inches will be extreme. 18 attack dices, subtract two AP, and one damage dice. It's dual purpose and is restricted and weak. So that means this will be reduced to uh, nine firepower if you're firing into the sides. And anti aircraft bar battery, we got one inch. For point blank, two two inches for short range, three inches for long range, and five inches for extreme. Why would you need that planes are above you unless you're flying torpedo boats? Yeah, and then the attack dice would be twelve, local four as a treat as a trait. Twelve attack dice is for anti aircraft gun. That's a lot. Yeah, comes at a cost of. 850 points cheaper than Yamato is about 150 points cheaper. Well, I mean it has a lot less guns than Yamato So of course it'd be a little cheaper. Ugh. It's pretty much like an upgraded New Mexico, I believe and With more hit points, I think yeah, and then let's take a look at the historical facts and yeah, refits so it is it is 887 feet in length and it, the displacement of Wow 57 thousand and five hundred and forty tons wow well, crew members over there two thousand eight hundred fifty eight thirty two point five knots as a speed and it's commissioned in 1943 it's and, pretty late war yeah. isn't it well i mean it's more or less yeah well in the middle of the war uh, and the ships in class are missouri iowa new jersey and wisconsin that's quite a bit yeah. and uh the refits for the, there's a refits, two refits for Iowa, changed the uh, anti-aircraft battery, and then there's, uh, it's mainly anti-aircraft, and then for the Miss Missouri, we only have the ch uh, change anti-aircraft to attack by 16, and a local 3 for plus 15 Done. points. And yeah, it's really not too much of upgrades it's mainly anti-aircraft refits and unfortunately there are no cruise missiles in this game that would yet. be really unfair well that would be because if i were to use that against the yamato I'll probably blow it to shreds yeah uh, it's devastating attack dice of 453 dices a handful of dices of damage yes that would be like probably the most deadly weapon ever to have been in the but it isn't yeah right um i'd say that this is not too bad let's get into the ship itself well the ship itself is pretty big it's not too much like extra resin like you just need to shave off a little bit but not as much as though like northampton from the starter set and it's pretty big wow it's a lot of anti aircraft guns no wonder it's, it's a local four yeah, that's a, a lot of anti-aircraft guns, but I wonder who would win, though, if it was Yamato against Missouri. You can't obviously just get a bunch of anti-aircraft guns and start shooting at Yamato unless you get super lucky and you kill the commander along with everyone else in it. Yeah. But that's not possible. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty big. Um. So, right, we'll have to get these painted and assembled, and we'll be right back with you. Okay. Uh, done painting it. There's nothing too complicated. Just went for the gray and light gray approach. Keep it simple. Nothing much. Here, um, it's this is a pretty big ship. I mean, compared to like the uh, compared to the, the ships that we got from like the regular star set. I mean, here, this, the uh, Northampton class, the Chicago, it's literally double the size. So, and, um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, the, the Missouri, I mean, I can't wait to test it out in battle. And soon we'll be doing a battle against 
the Yamato, the Missouri versus the Yamato. Speaking of the Yamato, here let me show you the Yamato here and compare it between these two. They're pretty similar in size. It's the yeah, they're actually quite similar. I mean, the Yamato is wider. Guns are bigger. And the guns are bigger. Yeah. More light guns. It has lots of lot more light guns. But... And my anti-aircraft gun is poor, and yours has a lot of anti-aircraft guns. Yes, the Missouri has tons of anti-air. I could remove, for one of the upgrades for Yamato, I could remove the two light guns on the side and replace it with a butt ton of anti-aircraft guns if I want to. Yeah. Which seems like a pretty good idea. Yep. So, but there's no planes at the moment. Yeah, we don't have any uh, carriers at the moment yet but we will get it soon eventually uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this video coming up next for our victory at sea series we'll be having the missouri face off against the yamato so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and share and we'll see you in the next video goodbye